السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. All praise is due to Allah, the Creator and Sustainer of all that exists. Our salawat, blessings and salutations upon the beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his family, his companions, and all those who follow his guidance until the day of judgment. Honorable principal, respected teachers, distinguished guests, and most importantly, our dear graduate students, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. It is a great honor to stand before you on this significant occasion as we celebrate the achievements of our students and the beginning of the new chapter in their lives. Their students today marks a momentous uh, or momental step, uh, step in your journey. You have spent years acquiring knowledge, shaping your character, and building a foundation for the future. In Islam, seeking knowledge is an obligatory uh, act upon the believers. So as the Prophet ﷺ said, and previously our uh, Lord member also reminded that hadith, seeking knowledge is some of our obligation of every Muslim. But remember, your graduation today is not an end point. It is a bridge to greater responsibilities, challenges, and opportunities. What you have learned so far is not just for worthy success, but also to draw closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and contribute positive, positively to society. And also, our Imam has recited a beautiful surah, Surah Al Balad, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us that He says, Indeed, we have created human beings into the state of affliction, hardship. So, this life is all about this, and you have passed one, and the next many more will come. And through this strong foundation you have built, inshallah, you will achieve success in every journey in the future, inshallah. But I have a couple of advice we, uh, I want to share with you, which I normally use to remind you in the class. But today is important because this is why we always keep our connection as Muslims, as brothers and sisters in Islam. Point number one, I want you to keep in mind that strengthen your relationship with Allah. Don't limit your Islam to the masjid, to the garden college where you are, but continue your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Through by praying your five day prayers, reciting the Quran which you have learned and memorized the surahs and etc. And remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in every decision you make, Allah promises the Quran. And whoever fears Allah, He will make for him a way out and will provide for him from where he does not expect. Second point, be ambassadors of Islam. The values you have learned here, honesty, humility, kindness, and respect are not just for you. They are the light that others need in the world to often struggle with darkness. Be proud of your Islamic identity and be role models in your communities. Point number three, see beneficial knowledge. Knowledge is something in Islam which never ends. The Prophet Allah has used the mind, see knowledge from cradle to the grave. So every day you will keep learning. And also, remember to continue the dua that you say every morning in our prayers. Rabbi Zidni Ilma, Rabbi Fatima, Allah, by asking for beneficial knowledge and good provision and accept, uh, an accepted peace. Another point I want to also remind you is respect your parents and teachers. Never forget the sacrifice your parents have made to support you and the dedication of your teachers in guiding you. Islam places immense importance on showing gratitude to them. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that in shakaratun la azilannakum, be grateful to me. And also he said, be grateful to me, and wali wali and to your parents. And also, face challenges with faith and perseverance. Life in your school will bring tests and challenges. Face them with patience, sorrow, and reliance on Allah to support tawakkul. Remember, Every hardship carries within it a lesson and a blessing. So as we bring to today, take a moment to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his countless blessings, 
Pray for guidance in the steps ahead and strive to make a life that pleases Him. Remember, true success is not measured by wealth, status, or recognition, but by how sincerely you fulfill your purpose as a servant of Allah and an interpreter to His creation. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless each and every one of you with success in this world and in the hereafter. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide you, protect you, and make you a source of pride for your families, your community, and the woman. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.